Mississippi Asia Pacific International President Jacqueline Tansayas and General Manager Essa Santos, Darling of the Press winners Mississippi Vietnam, Mississippi Sri Lanka and Mississippi Mauritius, with Mississippi Asia Pacific International 2016 Tessa Helena L. E. Conge, photos by Jam Sta. Rosa Yuki Sonoda after a decade-long hiatus, the oldest international beauty contest in Asia is slowly finding its voice in the already crowded pageant world. The Mississippi Asia Pacific International pageant was successfully relaunched last year, crowning Dutch beauty Tessa L. E. Conge from among a field of 40 aspirants. This year, 42 international delegates are in the Philippines to complete the tilt's resurrection, under the auspices of millennials who are eager to revive a 49-year-old contest. Young entrepreneur Jacqueline Tansanes, former Mutia NG Pilipinas president, is at the helm of revival efforts. Relinquishing her national pageant duties to focus on the international tilt, Sains brought in her friend and fellow millennial Essa Santos for the 2017 edition. Santos, who is the pageant's general manager, was introduced at the delegate's press presentation held at the Edsa Shangri-La in Mundaluyong City on November 13. Now under new ownership and management, we're proud and excited to say that the Mississippi Asia Pacific International is back and determined to make its own distinct mark in the beauty pageant industry, Santos said. Eileen De Vera, we are now geared toward becoming a platform that aims to empower women to find beauty in diversity, she added. For Santos, this advocacy hits home with millennials. We feel that in a generation that experiences extreme pressure to be a certain way, look a certain way, and think a certain way, respect and appreciation for whatever sets us apart have faltered, she explained. Santos said the pageant hopes to celebrate the things that make us unique, be it race, ethnicity, religion, belief, opinion, life experiences and everything else. She said the organization hopes to forge solidarity and sisterhood among the delegates, who they hope would view the pageant as more than a contest for a crown and title. Ambassadors, for us, they are ambassadors of embracing individuality and at the same time respecting those of others. Santos shared. The pageant, she said, is now looking for a queen who is strong and confident, and proud of herself, her culture, and all the things that make her who she is. Ka Yin Lai It was the home stretch of Sainz's Mutia presidency when she spearheaded the revival of the international pageant, which was last held in 2005. The national contest sent the country's representatives to the global tilt for four decades. Sains revitalized the national pageant, fostering partnerships with beauty contest aficionados in the Visayas and Mindanao, to discover the untapped beauties beyond the reach of the other national searches. She also strengthened Mutia's relationships with overseas partners, who continued to send representatives from Filipino communities abroad, to highlight the global Filipino spirit. The young entrepreneur, who also handles several other ventures of her family, is banking on her experience in successfully transforming Mutia to revitalize the Mississippi Asia Pacific International pageant.